guys, welcome back to the vlog. For those of you that don't know, my husband and I are both teachers, and today is actually our last day of summer. Not for the girls, our school district actually gave them two additional weeks to push back the start date. Everything's still up in the air. We don't even know if we're being e-learning or if we're going brick and mortar, all over the place. But today, we are going to stop at Dunkin' Donuts and then we are going to go to Target to get school supplies. The girls, well, Kylie has been to a store during all of this, but the other two I don't think have been to a store. So we need to get some practice wearing our mask out in a public place since they're gonna maybe be going back to school. I don't know, it's all up in the air, so let's go. Our little uh, server right here, Kylie, we always pull over, unbuckle, and let her pass out all the food for everybody. You can pass it out now. We got egg and cheese wraps, which they enjoy, and then we got munchkins so they could sell a little bit of donuts. We don't always order this. Sometimes we get full donuts for them. Sometimes we get the breakfast sandwiches for Kylie. So, of course, I got my Copy. Even though I already had coffee today. It's fine. Last day of summer. You only live once. I'm also wearing my teacher shirt. Uh, more shades, less grades. Clearly I'm in denial that we go back to work tomorrow, but I'm actually kind of ready. We, it's been a long summer of being at home, so even though going back to work sometimes is hard, I am ready to be back. I'm ready for the routine and I'm ready for my kids to go back too, even though Wait, I'm a little nervous about that. All the feelings, just all the feelings. I don't even really know what I want, but you know, I'm just gonna go with the flow and let Jesus take the wheel. So this seriously yeah. smells like campers. <laughs> all right, we are at Target. We're getting our masks on. Is that the right one, Casey? Yeah. Is that the cute no, one? No, it's not. It looks pretty big. I think that might be mine. We have matching oh, ones. Amazing. Oh no, that is yours. It's just kind of big. <laughs> the mask dilemma. We have so many oh. trying to find the best fit and ah. we don't really know. So we have this flower one. Oh. Can I see that this real quick? That is so big uh -huh. that I can't even like it. It has these beads on the side so you can tighten it on the ears, which is very helpful. Mine is unicorn. Unicorn. Well, yeah, unicorn. And then we have flamingos. Oh. Like <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, and then I have cheetah print because I'm wearing cheetah print. I all the cheetah print. cheetah print. Basically, we bought a bunch on this like Facebook group and we didn't get them all the ones that we wanted. But she has a cheetah print one coming and we're still on the lookout. I heard actually Target has good masks for kids. So I might look while we're here to see what other kinds of masks we have. And that I can have so I don't borrow Casey's. <laughs> So much. Oh man, they're really oh, gonna need to work on raising their hand at school because clearly they don't Moms, know when to everyone. wait their turn. <laughs> we are going to shop for school supplies and probably all kinds of other things because it's Target and yeah. that's what you do. So who doesn't love Target? Target! Alright, we found some cute little tennis shoes for I don't Casey. Have because I have sandals and we already buy tennis shoes. Yeah, we got sandals. tennis shoes for them, but Kylie needs some sandals. How are they fitting? Good. I love them. They're so cute. Stand up. Come, oh, mommy. I can help you. Okay, those are good. My shoes are on clearance. Oh, best kind of shoes. The ones on clearance. Eight forty-eight. How much are these? Hey, be careful. How much are these, Casey? Let's see. We look at prices after we find what we like. <laughs> $10. Oh, wow, we are bargain shoppers today, girls.
survived, barely. Uh, we actually only spent like $150 on all the school supplies. Mom truth, uh, we just got in the car, packed it all up, we're in Target for like ever, get buckled up, and they have to go to the bathroom. This is the story of my life. I can't make this stuff up. So now we're gonna get back out, go back inside Target, and go to the bathroom, and then get back in the car. So wish us luck. So, back from Target part two. We went to the bathroom, quick, 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 washed our hands, came back to the car, and now I told the girls that we had a second part to our day that we don't normally do. So here we go. It is about 11 o'clock, so we are going to go to Chick-fil-A! Yay! <laughs> drive through Oh no, we're not doing McDonald's. I'm um, pretty sure your dad would disown you if you had McDonald's. We have nothing against McDonald's, but he doesn't think it's very healthy. So our fast food choice always is Chick-fil-A because it's delicious. So we're gonna go wait in the Chick-fil-A drive through for about 30 minutes because that's usually how long it takes. And then we'll go home and eat. We'll see you there, say bye. So we just got back from Chick-fil-A and finished eating and then the girls are upstairs for a quiet time so now I get some quiet time myself. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this time but I'm thinking I actually have to do laundry and make sure everything's ready for going back to work. The struggles. Ugh. And now I brought all the stuff into the playroom. I'm not gonna label anything yet because I don't even know what we're gonna need or not need. If we go back to school, then obviously we'll need all the stuff, but if we have to do e-learning, I don't think we need seven composition books. <laughs> but then again, we might go back after like the second nine weeks. It's literally, I don't even know what to do. It's all a mess. Like I said, Jesus take the wheel. We got this, so I'm still not gonna label anything, but I am gonna go through it and sort everything out. Okay, so we sorted everybody's stuff out and put it into their backpacks. They are pretty full. We're gonna start with what we got for Kylie. This is not everything on their list. Some of the stuff I have in my classroom already and some of these things that aren't in their backpacks we have left over from last year. So we just have a blue binder, four different folders. We got some Ziploc bags. They had this kind of hand sanitizer. It probably smells awful, but that's all they had. Some baby wipes down there. We did find the jackpot of all things, disinfecting wipes. They're like the off-brand, but that's sure they work fine. Uh, seven composition books. That should be fun. Lots of lots of writing in your future, Kylie. Yeah. Yeah. And then in here, she just has colored pencils. She has some eczema markers, glue sticks and crayons. She already has scissors and then I feel like that was it that was on your list. I don't know, we have a huge list. I went through and wrote all the stuff down. Then everybody gets a pack of tissues. Kylie will have two, one for her gifted teacher, one for her regular teacher. And then this is for Casey's class, which is also my class. All the paper plate crafts. Casey's class and my class also needs Play-Doh. And then we have Kenzie's backpack, which, actually no, this is Casey's. This is Kylie's old backpack. We're just using we're, it. Yeah, we're just using it right now. Casey's gonna get to pick out a backpack, but we didn't find one exactly at Target. So same type of thing. We got wipes in here, two, two packs of wipes. We have storage bags and some more disinfecting wipes. She has a smaller binder. Um. 
And she has this, what? which is the cutest. Let me show you this. It's a little pouch yeah. for inside, and, and it's, it's just furry. Like my jacket, see? Oh yeah, more than magic brand, adorable. And then look at this, Lisa Frank. Did you guys have Lisa Frank when you were growing up? Mm-hmm. This was back in the day. Yep, so cute. And then a notebook. Oh, I think she put all her crayons and stuff. Maybe in. Oh no, those are her shirts. Casey, where'd you put all your crayons? Back. Oh, back. in the back. Way inside that little hole. Okay. Nobody needs to see that. All right, Kenzie, let's go to yours. So, so this, this can't fit in. This backpack is Kenzie's old backpack. It is from Pottery Barn, but I think I got the wrong size. So it is on the struggling side and it barely fits her binder, but we're gonna make it one more year with this backpack and then she's gonna get to pick out her new one next year. She picked out a pink binder, some folders, ooh, four composition books, expo markers, gallon size, and then disinfecting wipes. Crayons, she actually needs four packs of crayons, so I think she has some, oh, glue sticks, some hiding in here too, maybe. Yeah. And then we have pencils somewhere around this house yes, already. Too. And baby wipes, so we're pretty much done, girls. We got a couple more things to order on Amazon, but school time, who's ready? I'm so ready to get back to school. So ready to get and back. I'm so excited to show my friends. Yeah, this was a $5 pencil box at Target compared to the 99 cents ones. All right, guys, uh, Mike got home at like four o'clock and then the girls and I finished cleaning up the house. Later, we're gonna make some cookies, but I got to sneak out of the house to get my eyebrows done and a pedicure before I go back to work tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and give us a big thumbs up and get ready for a bunch of teacher videos because they are coming. We will see you next time. Bye.